Let's talk about red light therapy. It is just really, really great. So the reason that we brought red light therapy into Awesome was because um, we had a friend who had gone through radiation treatment and had received some burns. And I thought, man, what can we do? What, what are they doing for that? And that's when I learned about red light therapy. So it's this really cool thing. Um, it's really helpful with skin issues, um, with healing of all kinds of burns and eczema and all kinds of acne, different things like that. And it's um, it produces a lot of collagen in the skin. The lights also really help with seasonal affective disorder or some some forms of depression. And so it's really been cool to see how this red light therapy has affected people here at Awesome. So let's read a little bit and learn a little bit about uh, what red light therapy is. Red light therapy is an everyday term for the science of photobiomodulation. Man, that's a mouthful. It's been proven effective for a wide range of healing and rejuvenating issues, including anti-aging, hair loss prevention and regrowth, skin conditions, wound care, pain relief, and much more. It's 100% natural therapy with zero side effects, and yes, it works. What red light therapy is depends on who you ask. There are two very different ways to look at it. First, from the viewpoint of Western traditional medicine, and second, from the viewpoint of Eastern energy medicine, red light therapy, and Western medicine, or photobiomodulation. Western traditional medicine likes to deal with what we can measure in a lab and prove to the FDA. Once NASA came down, out of space, literally, with unbelievable wound healing results from red light therapy, conventional medicine started paying attention. Over 10 years later, red light therapy has now been thoroughly researched. Well, they're still researching it, but it has been FDA approved for anti-aging and pain relief, and they are studying out wound care applications uh, currently. It's kind of funny because that's how we learned about it was wound care applications to begin with. So it's just funny how they kind of work out of order. Western doctors and researchers often call red light therapy by other names such as LLLT, low-level laser or low-level light therapy, LILT, low-intensity light therapy, photobiostimulation, biostimulation or BIOS, photobiomodulation, photonic stimulation or photorejuvenation. Red light therapy and Eastern medicine. Red light therapy is also used in Eastern medicine practices, which focus on the energy systems of the body, specifically meridian points and chakra zones. For example, color puncture uses a narrow beam of light to stimulate acupuncture points instead of needles. A brand name called photonic light therapy does the same thing for animals. Red light therapy could also be called red color therapy and used to fuel overhaul vitality. While Western science and Eastern medicine may not often agree. The facts remain light is energy and our body is energy. Red and infrared light energy penetrate deep into the body and have profound effects in the hands of both Western and Eastern healing professionals alike. The good news is it will likely have the same rejuvenating healing and balancing effects in your hands here at Awesome as well for the fraction of the cost. Benefits of red light therapy. So the overall benefits of red light therapy are it's 100% natural, drug-free, chemical-free, non-invasive, so there are no needles or knives, non-ablative, so it does not damage the skin, painless, does not itch, burn, or sting, requires zero downtime, safe for all skin types, safe for all ages, no adverse short or long-term side effects, easily self-administered, and FDA approved. Does red light therapy work? Yes. Yes, it does. Even though science is just beginning to learn how red light therapy works, its effectiveness has been known for decades and has been proven by hundreds of studies all over the world. Long before FDA approval, red light therapy has been used in Europe and by NASA and the U.S. military, professional athletes, and veterinarians. It's an incredible therapy, and we're so glad that you're using it and enjoying it. So we have had... Uh, a number of clients, as I said, of guests come and tell us about, you know, burns they've gotten, sunburns or burns from um, curling irons or different things like that, that red light therapy has really, really helped in their recovery process, according to them. Um, I know that personally, I have some age spots that have been um, 
reduced in color <laughs> and intensity. Um, we also have several people in our raving fans part on our website that talk about the red light therapy. So I hope this has helped you learn a little more. Um, we, of course, have more information in our binders in the Relaxation Lounge. And I encourage you to Google it. See what you can learn and find out about red light therapy. One thing that we do get asked a lot is, does red light therapy help you lose weight? And it helps with inflammation. So from that standpoint, yes, you are going to lose some water inflammation, Um and your tissues will calm down. As far as true weight loss, usually when there's a center that's advertising um, red light therapy helps you lose weight, they're usually including nutrition and supplementation with the red light therapy. And yes, it will help you feel more like moving. It will help you feel more energized and more awake. And so combined with those other things, absolutely it's going to help you lose weight. So it just depends on how you want to look at it. Fire infrared heat is an absolutely incredible thing for helping us to feel good and healthy. <laughs> so um, we have fire infrared heat in heating pads with natural jade and tourmaline stones here at Awesome. We also have fire infrared heat in our um, fish tank beds. And so I highly encourage you to use it, but let's learn a little bit about it so you understand how all the good things you're doing for your body. So if far infrared radiation or FIR heat intensity is high, we feel healthy and can overcome many of our health concerns. When far infrared heat begins to decline, we are subject to disease and illness. We tend to age more quickly and fight depression more often. We can be exposed to far infrared heat for hours and it will never cause our skin to burn as long as it's not too hot of a heat. It is completely safe and healthy for all living things. All life forms, humans, animals, and plants need far infrared to remain healthy. I have, you know, some problems with my adrenals and so I have a hard time holding my temperature for whatever reason because of my thyroid and um, my adrenals but I can always tell when my adrenals are really depleted because I stay so cold all the time and I love farm for red heat because it just warms me to my core and it helps me kind of feel alive and okay again and it's just this incredible heat it's also the same heat we get from sleeping next to somebody so humans are what are called black bodies and we absorb energy and we also give energy so we we will absorb heat and then we also give off heat and that heat that we give off is far infrared heat and so when you're sleeping with somebody and you find it very comforting to be sleeping next to somebody you're you're experiencing not only of course the feeling of them their spirit their soul being with you but also that heat that they give off and so it is just a very comforting heat one of my employees says it feels like you're getting a hug without someone being in your bubble <laughs> so I love that so let's talk about what it does for the circulation far infrared heat creates increased blood flow by promoting expansion of the blood vessels and capillaries a functional circulatory system is indispensable not only for a quality of life but also to maintain health Far infrared heat aids in the creation of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide can prevent and even reverse heart disease and strokes. If blood circulates well, tissues will receive energy in the form of nutrients and oxygen to help the metabolic activities they need. So one of the big things that we brought it in for here was cancer. So it is FDA approved for um, it does kill cancer cells at 107 degrees. So our domes get up to 110. Our heating pads get up to around 159, 160. So we're doing the most that we can to help you help yourself. But let me teach you a little bit about how it can help with cancer cells. So cancer cells cannot exist if the body's circulation is smooth and continuous. A cancer cell must stop moving to proliferate. Good blood circulation in capillaries leaves no way for the cancerous cell to settle down and position itself to, dis to duplicate. If the cancerous cell keeps moving, it can then be killed by your immune system. 
Pure far infrared heat penetrates three to five inches into the body, targeting and combating malignant cells from the inside out. It's non-toxic, safe, and there are no side effects from its use. Well, I should say no negative side effects from its use. Weight loss. Far infrared heat improves metabolism. The body is made up of 55 to 60% water, depending on how well you hydrate. Infrared heat causes resonance in water molecules, activating and ionizing them. Far infrared heat therapy enables a lot of things, but let's go through a list of them. Relaxation of the mind and body. Stress relief. Promotes a healthy metabolism. Addresses pain swelling and inflammation. We have really seen that here at Awesome, um, especially with post-surgical um, pain, swelling, and inflammation. It accelerates healing and promotes enzyme production and cellular vitality. Farm for red heat strengthens the immune system and cardiovascular system. It aids in the destruction of cancer cells. Farm for red heat is also well recognized worldwide for its detoxification properties and its ability to promote elimination of toxins and metabolic byproducts. Farm for red may induce the killing of varied pathogenic disease causing bacteria such as virus, fungus, and parasites. Farm for red promotes rebuilding of tissues, thus helping with post surgical or injury pain. It relieves nerve nervous tension and relaxes auto neuro muscles, thereby helping the body make the most of its healing abilities. So we, we have just seen so much with this farm for heat. Um, people who have had surgery, we've had a couple of guests who've had two, um, shoulder surgeries. Okay. And they found us after their first shoulder surgery, but before their second, um, several people. And, Every one of them has told us that they've come in after their second surgery, used the heating pad on their shoulder, and by the time they got to physical therapy, they actually had a better range of motion than their physical therapist was hoping to get them to by the end of physical therapy. So they were able to really facilitate their healing just by using infrared heat. They would come in um, and wrap their shoulder in infrared heat and lay in a zero gravity chair. Um, Some of them would do the blue belt. Some of them only did this heat. And so we know that it really does. We've seen that it really does help with that inflammation and with that um, pain of healing. And so uh, it's just made a huge difference. Back pain, we've had people... Um, Sean came in one night and one of the guys came up to him. He said, I am so sorry. And Sean said, what are you sorry for? And he said, I, I was in such pain last night. He was pre back surgery. And he said, I just couldn't sleep. I was in so much pain. So I came here and he said, I slept for eight hours, eight hours in a zero gravity chair with the heat. He said it was the best night's sleep I've had since I can remember. So really cool. Infrared heat really is just amazing. And like I said, you're going to get it in either the fish tank bed where it's going to really help with your circulation and your lymphatic, or you can use it in a zero gravity chair, um, with heat. Um, and in some places we even have it, uh, with red light therapy. So just depending on where you're using it, you can really find a great deal of relief. I hope this has helped you learn a little more about infrared heat. There is an article that we have in our binders on negative ions that's called Beating a Case of Bods, V-O-D-S. Negative ions may be an answer to the video blahs. Now, what is BODS? BODS is Video Operator Distress Syndrome. And it's something that's really prevalent. A lot of people are dealing with it. And it makes us... um, It really makes us struggle. Okay, so just a couple of other scientific studies that we have in the binder. There is, of course, more information than this, but in 1995, in the Journal of Alternative and Comparative Medicine, which is a journal of the Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center, the results of a study that they did um, were reported in several different places, but also on CBS News with Connie Chung. There were two researchers that conducted a study of the impact of negative ion therapy on people suffering from seasonal affective disorder, um, winter depression, the blues. Um, It's a a 
it's an issue that is often um, symptomatically indistinguishable from all year round depression. Researchers believe that the biology of seasonal affective disorder or SAD is very similar to that of all year depression. Hence, the same antidepressant drugs such as Prozac or Zoloft are used to treat both. So, the study was conducted in a double blind fashion and divided clinically depressed subjects into two groups. The subject in the first group were treated for 30 minutes a day for 20 days with a low density ion generator that produced around 10,000 ions per cubic centimeter. And that was the control group. And then the subjects in the second group were treated for 30 minutes a day for 20 days with a high density ion generator that produced 2,700,000 ions per cubic centimeter. And they were the experimental group. The remission or cure um, used was a 50% or greater reduction in symptom frequency and severity using the seasonal affective disorder version of the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale. So all of this is very scientific. Um, the results of the study shocked the medical community. While a low-density negative ion generator provided little benefit, uh, but remember they were also only there for 20 minutes a day, a high-density negative ion generator gave relief from depression comparable to that given by Prozac and other antidepressants without drug side effects. That was a big deal. So in the magazine Whole Self in the spring of 1991, there was an article that was entitled Ions and Consciousness. Ions, it explains, are charged particles in the air that are formed when enough energy acts upon a molecule such as carbon dioxide, oxygen, water, or nitrogen to eject an electron. The displaced electron attaches itself to a nearby molecule, which then becomes a negative ion. It is the negative ion of oxygen that affects us most. Remember that feeling you've experienced near a waterfall or high in the mountains that we've already talked about? Those are two such places where thousands of negative ions occur. They create an effect on human biochemistry. The normal ion count in fresh country air is 2,000 to 4,000 negative ions per cubic centimeter, about the size of a sugar cube. At Yosemite Falls, you'll experience over 100,000 negative ions per cubic centimeter. On the other hand, the level is far below 100 per cubic centimeter on the Los Angeles freeway during rush hour. Research on ions began in the 1950s with Dr. Albert Kruger, Professor Emeritus of the University of California at Berkeley, and Dr. Felix Sulman, Professor of Pharmacology at the Hebrew University in Israel. So Dr. Kruger excited the scientific world when he discovered ions to be biologically active, stimulated production of the powerful chemical serotonin, so 5-HT. Serotonin is a very active neurohormone, which a lot of us know a lot about now, which causes profound neural glandular and digestive effects throughout the body. So serotonin is really, really important to us. Dr. Solomon, or Solomon uh, corroborated Dr. Kruger's findings while studying positive ion victims of the hot, dry, there's the name of a desert that I can't even say, but basically hot, dry desert near Jerusalem. Um, and it's just rampant with positive ions. So he demonstrated three effects of positive ion excess. They are irritation and tension, exhaustion, and and hyperthyroid response. So most of these conditions, along with the symptoms of depression, anxiety, headaches, and low energy, physical and mental functions, were shown to be alleviated or totally eliminated by increasing the negative ion count in the air. So they were able to prove that exposure to negative ions helps us overcome the negative effects of positive ions. So while ionization of the air is mandatory in Europe and Russian hospitals and workplaces, it's only recently become uh, come to light here in the United States with the growing problem of toxic air in our urban environments. So we have multiple things here at Awesome that produce negative ions. These uh, heating pads that you're laying on. We also have the salt rooms, the halo cabins that produce negative ions. The blue belt also produces large numbers of negative ions. So we have lots of ways for you to get negative ions into your body here at Awesome. So 
I hope that you have enjoyed learning a little bit more about the science behind each of these therapies that you're using right at this moment, hopefully, which are zero gravity, infrared heat, and negative ions. And now you know a little bit more. If you'd like to know even more, please see our binders in the relaxation lounge. And I hope you have an awesome day.